Hello everyone, welcome to Electric Test Channel. Today we are going to see how to do transformer differential protection test in the GE745 relay. I have the GE745 relay setting file in my desktop. I open it first. I'm searching for the In the setting file, I have to check transformer differential setting, yeah, percentage differential that is a value 0.3 into CT and slope value as 25 percentage as well as 100 percentage. I have a differential uh, instant in the setup or setting also. Now I want to export my setting file as the .csv file. This file I can use in my test universe. This al this file already I saved, so I leave it. Now I I check the Omicron PT file for the cell sound profile relay. I already download from the website. Here, here we have the XRIO file which we can import in the test universe for our relay setting. I open the test universe. There is a differential operating characteristic. I open it. Then we can see in the top that is object, test object. We have to open then there is a import here we have to import the cell 745 relay x real file then we have to import our relay settings as a dot csv format which one already i save in my uh, pc yeah this one Now you see there is 24, there are 22 parameters uh, imported from the setting file and we can see the transformer uh, setting is correct or not we have to check. Here we can see transformer MBA value and CT values are there. We have to cross verify the settings with our setting file. Here we see our uh, transformer differential value as well as slope on slope slope values. Then we move to our yeah. Then we move to our uh, transformer differential characteristics. There is basic details uh, for the our transformer. This transformer is DY11, and our CT details also given, and this uh, CT uh, earthing details also given, and uh, differential settings and tripping values also we can check. And we have seen here the slope point 25 percentage with first point, and uh, the middle one is uh, the knee point for the CT saturation and second one is for uh, the 100 percent slope now our curve updated we have to check our tripping and non tripping regions the above curve is a uh, tripping region and below the curve is a non operating region we can choose each value for tripping and non-tripping regions and we can uh, run the test and check whether trip or not we can 
Yeah, see here the first value trip by 0.4 seconds sorry 0.04 seconds which mean 40 milliseconds and trip uh, the second one not trip because is below the tripping region now we have to check the slope by sort test in the sort test we have add 25 per stage curve to two values because we have to check the slope we have to check the slope means we minimum record two points for the 25 percentage value I added first now we have to add 100 percentage value now see each uh, value stretching which uh, point giving exact trip we can note the value for IBS as well as differential values and we can enter these values in our Excel graph Excel file which already I uh, uh, created for the slope it will give the exact tripping characteristics percentage here the Excel file already created slope calculations you see I uh, enter the value for the bias 1 and bias 2 for the slope 1 and differential value I have to enter now differential value this point four five four five nine seven I differential 1 and I differential 2 as point point eight seven one you see exactly we go to twenty four point nine percentage for the slope one for the slope two I have to enter the bias value first bias value is four point five for bias one and bias two is five point six for the differential value yeah, differential value 4.497 and differential 2 value 5.597. Now we got exactly 100% slope. You see, if you do manual calculations, it will take long time. So it will be the easiest method.